Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the MSI GeForce GTX 660 Twin Frozer OC Edition video card. It is a PCIe 3.0 video card and of course it has custom cooling solution, thus the Twin Frozer name. In fact, this is the Twin Frozer 3 cooling system used by MSI. And the GeForce GTX 660, unlike the high-end GeForce GTX 660 Ti, GeForce GTX 670, and GeForce GTX 680, which uses a GK104 core, uses the GK106 core, and uh, of course it's much more efficient and uh, consumes less power compared to those high-end cards. In this package, you'll see of course the card itself. And inside, you'll get uh, an adapter for a pair of 4-pin Molex to a single 6-pin connector. And there's another compartment underneath. Reveals this is an adapter for, uh, you have your VGA on one end and your DVI on the other end. You still have an older uh, display using VGA connectors. Have your quick user's guide. The MSI uh, driver CD, which also includes the afterburner overclocking utility. And a um, this is essentially just a quick uh, quick guide to installing your video card and the layout of your video card. MSI. And of course, the card itself inside an anti static packaging. The MSI GTX 660 Twin Frozer OC video card measures 235 by 125 by 35.8 millimeters. And of course, the Twin Frozer cooling system comprises of a pair of 80 millimeter cooling solutions. We'll go over that later but uh, for now let's take a look at the features of the GTX 660 card itself. You have here at the back the connectors. Uh, you have a pair of uh, DVI connectors. One is DVI-I, one is a DVI-D and you also get a full-size HDMI and a full-sized display port connector and also here you have your exos ports for uh, the hot air to come out at you're probably wondering, uh, these do not look like high um, high airflow uh, output ports. Of course, that's not a problem. As you can see, the design uh, is such that it blows the um, the exhaust air all over around the card itself. It's not one of those uh, reference designs where it needs a high airflow bracket uh, to, so that more hot air will come out because it's pretty much an open design. And... Uh, of course, here we have the SLI finger connector for, since there's only one, for up to dual SLI. And you have, see a stiffening bracket in here that is uh, built in, attached to the PCB itself. Now for the GeForce GTX 660 Ti, what MSI has done was that they had a form in one heatsink to, um, to provide a more rigid PCB. As you can see here, there's no form in one heatsink. Uh, but the um, the spine here, the metal spine, goes all the way through, which pretty much acts as a stabilizer and uh, prevents the PCB from sagging over time due to the heavy aftermarket cooling heatsink. And here you also get the single six-pin power connector. And here on the open end, you can see some of the uh, thin arrays there. And of course the PCIe 3.0 connector itself, which is backwards compatible to PCIe 2.0, just for those wondering if they have an older motherboard. And of course, the top is a bare PCB. You can see some of the components, including the uh, serial number there, serial sticker. Of course, you'll need to keep that intact so that you can RMA your card just in case something happens. So, what we should do now, of course, is open up the card, let's take a look at the Twin Frozer 3 cooling system in detail and then let's take a look at the PCB underneath that. Now we have separated the MSI Twin Frozer 3 cooling system from the PCB and 
Let's take a look at it in detail. You can see there are of uh, these uh, what MSI calls super pipes, which are basically just heat pipes, but super pipes, of course, because they are larger than your typical heat pipe. And uh, these are, of course, a, a copper. This is a copper base, but it is nickel plated. Uh, since, of course, uh, copper, uh, regular exposed copper, oxidizes over time. And uh, you can see the fin arrays there, which are uh, they're stacked quite uh, densely in there so that it is much more efficient in terms of heat distribution. And the twin fans here, these are uh, 80 millimeter fans. And uh, as you can see, it has that uh, distinctive MSI propeller design, which are, of course, designed to provide uh, much more CFM uh, and within a small area as you can see in there they are uh, they're flat and they are uh, not like the other fans which are a little bit more elevated they can attract more dust with this way as you can see if you look closely in there that, that there's very little space for dust to get into those areas over time so uh, of course it, uh, it prevents your uh, if dust buildup uh, is prevented and then uh, the performance of your fans are not affected over time. Also these fans, if you look closely at the connectors, you have four cables in there. That means it is of course a PWM controlled fan, a much more accurate step uh, controlled by the MSI Afterburner software of course. And uh, you can also adjust your, your settings with those uh, with that MSI Afterburner software and uh, I've actually never had it too because the automatic uh, setting was already very good for the system and uh, for the cooling the, for cooling the GTX 660 from MSI it never actually reached uh, more than 44 percent the fan speed and the temperature never reached beyond uh, 60 degrees even overclocked so uh, now the GTX 660 which is the GK10 uh, 106 has a maximum temperature of 98 degrees um, of course that is the maximum allowed and uh, 60 degrees maximum when, even when overclock translates into a, a lot of headroom of course when you're unclocking and uh, as you can see here we have the PCB and uh, there's also a heatsink over the uh, PWM area you have uh, the exposed uh, GK106 core in there. Uh, there is no integrated heatsink. Also the memory chips as you can see are Samsung memory chips and MSI uses solid aluminum core capacitors. So they're high quality stuff and the PCB if I recall correctly is a uh, custom design. As you can see there's nothing in this area. Uh, the typical GTX 660 PCB is actually a lot shorter and the extra area in there was just used for the blower fan. Uh, of course, this is a music blower fan, this is a much quieter twin force three cooling solution. So uh, that area is uh, uh, MSI took their freedom to design the uh, the layout differently compared to other cards, and that pretty much covers it. Uh, if you want to look at the, I'm, I'm going to remove the seat thing. I'm going to take a photo and then show it in the next slide. And other than that, it pretty much covers the rest of the overview of the GTX 660. Twin Frozer OC video card from MSI, and you can read the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com. And you can leave your questions, comments below. And uh, I think I forgot to mention the specifications of this card, uh, just for quick reference. Uh, GK106 has 960 clear cores, as I mentioned previously, but the core base clock of this MSI Twin Frozer OC, because it is factory OC'd, comes in at 1033 megahertz, and a core boost clock is 1098 megahertz. Now, uh, the reference is actually, uh, actually uh, has a core boost clock of 1033 megahertz so that means the core base clock of the twin frozer OC is the core boost clock of the reference design and the memory is 2 gigabytes and of course 192 bit memory bus and the memory clock is running at 6008 megahertz and that pretty much covers it again thanks for watching you can read the review at hightechlegion.com and you can uh, subscribe to our channel of course to watch more videos for daily updates and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.